What's up everybody and welcome back. So today we're gonna to have a little bit of fun with math and the reason we're gonna have fun with math is to answer some questions that I get sometimes in my inbox about what if I can't find a particular analysis or what if it's too complicated to put down because I need so little of it? Is there a way that I can sort of make my life a little easier? So I'm gonna show you something maybe some of you would enjoy. Perhaps this is going to be advanced for some people, but we're gonna run down the list and see if you might wanna try it. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I imagine for a lot of you, you're kind of familiar with this whole situation. People weighing and measuring and doing their chemicals or maybe some of their chemical and fertilizer combos to make sure that they're getting the right amount of material out per thousand square feet. That's very good. I'm happy that they're doing that. That's wonderful. So in order to do what I'm going to do today, this isn't going to cut it. You would need something uh, considerably larger that could take more weight, almost more like a bathroom scale. Um, but you know, we'll get into that in a second. So what I'm gonna do is sort of give you the mathematics on doing a simple blend on a one-to-one -one in to K ratio fertilizer. So you can kind of get an idea on uh, really how simple you could do this in order to get single applications out and then sort of base your pounds per thousand on whatever the nutritional needs are of your lawn. Now, the reason I'm using this particular ratio is because I've had a lot of people who've sent me soil tests who have high phosphorus, they don't need to be applying any phosphorus, and the balance of what they're looking for could be between three and four pounds of K that they need because it's extremely low, and we wanna match that up with their nitrogen. So doing a one-to-one -one works really well. So if you get online and you do a quick search for 15015 fertilizer, you can definitely find some things. That's a nice one-to-one -one ratio. They're gonna be labeled sometimes as palm and tree food, or they might even be labeled as centipede grass food or something like that. That doesn't really matter uh, what the label is as far as what it's being applied to in this particular instance. You're just looking for the one-to-one -one into K ratio. So you can go and find those and order them. They're not available everywhere, so most likely you're going to have to ship those in. Well, what if you wanted to do a different way? Like find something that was local and sort of make your own blend. It's not really all that difficult and I wanna show you the steps in order to get there. So let's start out, cause I think that everybody needs to understand just sort of the basic parameters here. So we're talking about doing a, a one to one in to K ratio fertilizer. That's how that's gonna come out. So we know that we have to kind of get started somewhere. We need to go one to one into K. So, the next thing is, how many square feet are you doing? So for the sake of this, let's do 10,000 square feet. So we're gonna do 10,000 square feet is what you're trying to cover off. So we wanna make sure that we're getting down. So the next thing is, how much material are you gonna be putting out? Like what is it that you're actually looking for? So for this scenario, let's just make it really easy. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and run it at uh, one pound, one pound of N per thousand, and we're gonna do one pound of K per thousand, okay? So all of this gets pretty simple now at this point because we know we need 10 pounds of N total and we need 10 pounds of K total. That's really what we're gonna come up to on this whole situation. All right, so the next thing is, what material are you gonna start with? So I bought a couple of things here locally um, the other day just to do some sampling of some weights and volumes to see how things sort of flush out and I wanted to find out what exactly uh, some of these materials were and how close they were in order to do different measurements. So I actually have here on hand, I have a 3204 uh, Scott's material that's here. And um, I also have some leftover uh, 0048 from Yard Mastery that's here. And this is, this SOP, you know, you can find SOP in pretty much every state, uh, 0050 of, of some kind. So that's not really too hard to find. And for the sake of what I'm doing today, this is, this is basically how it's all gonna work out. Okay, so in order to get to these numbers that we want to see, we basically have to find out how much N and how much K we're going to be putting down. So to get this out of this 32%, I've got 10 pounds that I need, and I'm actually going to take that 10 pounds and I'm going to divide it by 0.32, and that is gonna give me this number of 31.25. So now that you've got that number, this is the total amount of fertilizer that you're going to need out of that bag of Scots that you just bought, okay? So you need 31.25 to get to this number. So if I do the math on this again, I wanna figure out how much potassium I'm pulling out of that. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this 31.25 and then I'm actually going to multiply it times 0.04, that's 4%, and I'm gonna come up with this number right here, 
one, two, five. So I wanna subtract that pound and a half from this 10 pounds on this side. So that's gonna leave me with uh, 8.75. So we're gonna take that out, 1.25, and that leaves me with 8.75 pounds. So now I need to do the same thing on this side over here. So I have this analysis, a 0.48, I need uh, 8.75 pounds of K. So I'm gonna go 8.75, and I'm gonna divide that by 0.48, and I come up with 18.22 pounds. So let's just round that up, and we're gonna to go to 18.25 LBs. All right, now we're gonna take those numbers together, and we're gonna add those up as well. So we're going 18.25, and we're gonna add that plus 31.25, and we've got a total of 49.5, so let's just make that rounded up 50 pounds is what we're dealing with now all of a sudden. We've got 50 pounds of material total to treat this 10,000 square feet up here. And we're gonna be doing this one pound and one pound. All right, so now we've got it. We're gonna go five pounds per thousand feet. I'm gonna put that out, and that's gonna be at our one-to-one -one ratio, right? Now we have all of that done. So what if we wanted to find out exactly how much this is inside this total solution or inside of this total mix? So basically, it's simple. We've got 10 pounds of one and 10 pounds of the other. We're just going to divide 10 pounds by 50, and what are you gonna come up with? 0.2. So what we have here is a 20, 20, 20 fertilizer mix, 50 pounds of it that you're gonna to go to apply to 10,000 square foot lawn. So it really isn't all that difficult to come up with a ratio and a mix of fertilizer to be sort of custom to what you've got. So the first thing you do is know the ratio of what you want to apply. That way you have sort of the, the baseline idea. You need to know how much area you're going to apply to and then how much final nutrient you want to try to get out of that mix to be done with it. Because if I only wanted to apply a half pound of this, all I need to do after going through this whole process is cut my rate to two and a half pounds per thousand rather than five pounds per thousand, and now I have enough to do two applications with that single mix that I just made up. And the beauty of this is it will almost fit into a five gallon bucket, but not quite. But maybe you wanna see what this mix looks like. Now let me show you. So using the weights and measures and doing it a much smaller amount, that is actually what that blend came out to uh, when I used a Scott's bag from Home Depot and my 0048 from Yard Mastery. And uh, will it spread? Yeah, absolutely. It'll go through, especially if I'm pumping out that five pound rate that I have on there, all of that's gonna flow through and you're done. It becomes pretty simple. And maybe at the end of the day, you end up saving some money on that. The reason why I kind of did this and I thought it was fun and again, more like advanced, I would say, and maybe it's an exercise in futility, which I seem to find a lot of those around, is for some people applying like a super small amount of something that's a high concentration, like an SOP or a triple superphosphate or even a 4600, something like that at, at extremely low rates when you only need to put out like say a pound of total material, it can be a little bit challenging. So by comboing some other things together, it sort of opens you up to be able to plow through and knock out you know, single pass applications and it's things that you can mix down into a bucket or even toss immediately down into your spreader and just get really mixed around and you, know, you can have fun with it and play with your own custom mixes. So if you feel like going on an adventure, you wanna do a bunch of math, try to figure out your own blends, this is something that you can do and you can have an awful lot of fun with it. That's really it. I'm gonna go back to work. Talk to you real soon. See ya.